Check out this drink of misfortune that got stuck in the vending machine. How could you, the clever one, pass up such an opportunity? You smirked and decided to buy a drink positioned right above it. Utilizing the power of gravity, you ingeniously managed to stack two bottles together. This particular machine that's playing tricks on you is a traditional vending machine, essentially a two-dimensional coordinate system. You select a specific coordinate, and the machine dispenses the drink. These machines are typically designed to be closed systems, impervious to thievery. However, there's a catch. To retrieve your purchase, you must contort yourself into an awkward crouching position to push open the partition, and you can only buy one item at a time. It often leads to those awkward moments of almost getting what you wanted, but not quite. That's why nowadays vending machines in places like office buildings opt for open and intelligent designs. Just open the cabinet, grab what you want, and upon closing the door, the payment is automatically deducted. Some people even use them to chill their watermelons. Now you, my mischievous friends with curious minds, must be wondering, how can you play pranks on these vending machines? Can they match wits with you? The first rule for a vending machine is to know what you've taken from its innards. Based on their technical principles, we can classify them into four categories. The first one is weight recognition. It involves installing gravity sensors on the shelves. Once you take an item, the sensor detects the change in weight and completes the transaction. By the way, this technique is also used in some self-checkout counters at supermarkets to ensure the scanned item matches the one placed on the packing table. So don't even think about trying to fool a vending machine that relies solely on weight recognition. If you attempt to swap it with an object of the same weight, you'll end up behind bars. But more often than not, it's the vending machine that plays tricks on you. The sensors for weight recognition are placed on each layer or in each aisle. Let's say you're determined to shed some pounds but find yourself unable to resist the temptation of buying a bottle of happiness. You pick it up, but then your guilty conscience kicks in, leaving you feeling embarrassed. So, you cleverly place the bottle on a different shelf and close the cabinet door. The problem is, the gravity sensor on the original shelf notices that a bottle of happiness has disappeared. As a result, it still deducts money from your account. Fuming with anger, you open the cabinet door again and retrieve the bottle you paid for. Surprise, surprise, the vending machine deducts your money once again.